In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide in Excel. We're going to start with some basic examples showing how to divide numbers and cells in Excel, and then we'll get into a few more advanced options like how to divide an entire column by a number, and then we'll end with using the mod and quotient functions to divide in your spreadsheet. So the first thing we're going to look at is doing basic division with numbers entered manually inside of a cell. So what you need to do is select the cell where you want to do your division formula and then type equals on your keyboard. Then what you want to do is type the first number that you want to divide. So in this example, I'm going to divide 10 by 2. So I've typed a 10 in this cell. Now the division symbol in Excel is a forward slash. So on your keyboard, you're going to type the forward slash symbol. And then since I want to divide by 2, I'm going to enter 2 here. And then when I press enter, this will calculate. So 2 divided by 10 is 5. Now you can also divide cells instead of typing numbers manually. And it works the same way. So I'm going to select this cell equals and then what I want to do is divide this cell. So I'm going to select cell A1 forward slash and then I want to divide by cell A2. So I'm going to select that. And then when I press enter on my keyboard, it will calculate that formula. Now you can also divide an entire column by a number. And so there's a couple ways we can do this. In this example, I have this column here and I want to divide the entire column by five. And what you can do is select this cell divided by five, and then you can copy and paste this all the way down your column and it will divide every number by five here. So there's a couple ways you can copy and paste it. In the bottom right corner, of your cell, you will see this small square. That is the fill handle. If you double click this, it will paste this formula down the entire column. You could also copy and paste it manually. So you can divide by entering the number manually in the cell, but you can also divide the entire column by data that already exists in another cell. So in cell D1, I have five, and I'm gonna use the cell reference to divide the entire column by five. So one thing you have to learn before doing this is how to lock a cell reference in place or take the absolute cell reference. So if I do this formula like this and I select this cell divided by five, and then I copy and paste this formula all the way down, each row that I move down, my formula also moves down with me. So this does not work the way we want it to. What we need to do is lock this cell reference in place so that instead of my formula for this last part of the equation moving down to whichever row I'm in, I want it to stay in cell D1. And so to do that, I'm gonna go back up into my first formula, click at the end of D1, and then press F4 on my keyboard. What you wanna see is that these dollar symbols before the D and the one, so before the column and the row, then when I copy this formula down my entire column, no matter where I am in the column, it is always staying in cell D1 because the cell reference is now locked in place. So that is how to divide a column by a number. Now next, we're going to get into the mod and quotient functions. So the mod function is a division function that returns the remainder from a division equation. There are two arguments of the function, the number and the divisor. So if I do the formula up here, I'm gonna type equals on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna type mod and press the tab key. And then I have the two arguments. So the first argument is the number, and then it's the divisor. So I'm gonna type comma and then select the divisor, and then add my closing parentheses and press enter. Then I'm going to do it for this other line here. So I've done the mod function now for these two formulas. So again, what the mod function does is return the remainder. So this equals one because two goes into five two times and then there's one left over. This returns two because three goes into eight two times. That's six and then there's two left over. So the mod function returns the remainder. If you want to return the integer part of a division equation and remove the remainder, then you use the opposite, which is the quotient function. 
So the quotient function, again, has two arguments, the numerator and the denominator, and it returns the integer, removing the remainder part of a division equation. So I'm going to do the formula up here, equals quotient. I'm going to press tab on my keyboard. I'm going to select the numerator, comma, denominator, add my closing parentheses, press enter on my keyboard, and then I will copy this down to this row so we can calculate both of these. So this returns two because two goes into five two times. There is one left over, but quotient removes the remainder part of the division equation and only returns the integer. So it only returns two. This returns three because three goes into 10 three times. There is one left over as the remainder, but again, that is removed using the quotient function. So if you wanna do division, and remove the remainder, then you use the quotient function. If you want to remove the integer and only return the remainder, you use the mod function. So we've covered a few different ways to divide now in Excel. You can divide numbers, cells, you can divide entire columns or ranges by a number, or you have a few options with the mod and quotient function. So we're gonna be covering a lot more tutorials in the future, so make sure to subscribe. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.